What's up everyone, this is Jackie, I'm the anime guy here, and today we're going to talk about the workshop of Br Brilliant Light, especially talking about Vulcan and his other stages. So this is going to be a three-part video where we're going to go talk about Serbi, we're going to talk about level 25, and we're going to talk about how to kill Vulcan. All right. So I'm going to do this as a completely free-to-play. Now my account, I can't actually do normal yet. I haven't actually tried Cerebus, but I know I probably can't do Floor 25. So I know just by clearing Vulcan, I'll get a lot more drops compared to doing normal. So here we go. Let's get in here and start our raid. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So once you get in, there are a few things that you want to know. I think in order to actually start Vulcan, you need to be battle tier of like 20, I believe and you need to clear a certain part of the main story to actually get in here. And when you get in, the first thing that you can do, that well, the only thing that you can do is Cerebus. Now Cerebus is definitely the easiest part of Vulcan, just because the mechanics are exactly like that instant dungeon, All right? So that's Cerebus, and we're gonna go in and clear this, and I'll show you how it's done. Now, in terms of my setup, Right, I have, I'm going to have not this team, I'm going to chuck in my Alicia, I'm going to chuck in my Char, and I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'll either put a Min or a, or Meilin, which, what do I want? Let's, let's do Meilin, alright, we'll put these three on, and normally this is the, the rotation I like to run it, I like to always use Alicia's support skill, then Mei Lin's, then Alicia's. Our Char support skill, then Mei Lin, then Alicia's. All right? Weapons, I'm going to use my Water Grimoire. But honestly, you can use West Wind, you can use Moon Shadow. As long as you have enough damage, it's fine, honestly. All right? Bam. In terms of the skills, for this one, uh, I like to use Water Multi Strike just because this deals medium break and a final weak break at the end for that last hit. Plus the cooldown is only 10 seconds. Whereas Death Stance, yes, it does heavy strike, heavy break, and it boosts the damage to elite monsters by 45%. It's a little bit of a cooler, longer cooldown, which reduces my time of actually getting time of my ult. So I use Multi Strike for my first skill, and for my second one, I use the water armor break. Okay. Oh, I didn't change it. Water multi strike. There you go. In terms of the blessings, I have mana rampage, advanced dagger technique, assassin proficiency, and weakness detection. And for my artifacts, I'm running a half crit, half black lions half expert and half curse but i was easily able to do this with just like a full expert and what i have right now what they look like are additional attack attack plus two some crit rate crit rate crap other stats attack plus two attack plus three attack plus one crit damage boots All right for the artifacts this is actually one of my best artifacts so i'm finding really hard things to actually beat it, especially when I'm upgrading these these events, like these necklaces, and they just go on the worst stats. Look at this, damage reduction plus two, beautiful. All right, uh, the water one for my, uh, my ring, water damage, damage increase, additional HP. My beast ring, got attack percentage and some crit damage. And for my earring, eh, not the best. All right, I got an attack, exact pen, but could be better. All right, look at this one. I had additional defense and MP reduction go into those two. All right, nothing went into my crit damage or additional attack. It can't hurt. All right, so that is my Jimu setup, and let's go in and do this run. So Serbi is going to do 1, 2, dash, extreme invasion, plum, 
Mei Lin, water spray his ass, Alicia. Note how I water sprayed first, then Alicia. That gives me more damage because water spray within the four seconds of him freezing, um, any attack that's attacked in him between that four seconds has a 10% increase in damage. That's why Alicia was after the water spray. And honestly, Cerberus, any long form of attack is two seconds. Okay, I'll show you what I mean by that later. See, water spray, then leash up, and break his ass. So, the other than this, two, you want to wait for this. This is immune to this, so normally just auto attack him for mana. And meters, left dodge, right dodge. Shadow step and bring in the supports. Plum water spray, Alicia. Break him and keep dealing damage. Do, do, do. Now I have my ult, but I'm not going to use it yet because I don't have my shadow step in for his weakness. Now this part, there's not much you can do. You can just only honestly just run around. Or you can run around, hit him like twice, and then run around again. But whatever. Okay, shadow step. Thumb. Mei Lin. And then water spray. And oh, I can ulti. Alright, see how I managed to get there, that defense decrease. Always make sure you have that on when you're ulting. Shadow step, boom, boom. See, I don't even use my shadows for this because it's gotten pretty easy. Boom, two, dodge. See, any fire breath, two seconds. Oh man, far out. I was not focusing for that one. <laughs> Alright, let's do this properly. Okay, one, two, dodge. Oh, man, let's do that again. Okay, breathe one, two, dodge, Alicia, plum, and then just hold down my water spray, and then Alicia comes in, boom, break his ass, dodge, shadow step, and auto, 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 dodge, Dodge, plum. Okay, and then wait. Dodge left, dodge right, shadow step. I didn't do that properly. And then book. Oh man, I missed him. Oh, that's annoying. Whatever. Doesn't affect it. Shadow step. Keep breaking his ass. Two. Dodge. Uh, do I get the shadow step? No, I won't. I'll get this one. Two, dodge, shadow step. Ah, uh, I should have broken him first, then done that. But it doesn't matter. I can ult here. Okay. Once he gets up, he's gonna do the tornado. 
auto auto dodge dodge now here's a tornado is a bit annoying because if you stop moving it actually sucks you towards him and makes you unable to move so just be aware of that one two he's gonna do his stinky breath make sure to shadow step behind so it's a bit easier so a lot of beginners when fighting bosses are always afraid of the attacks but when you do it right normally when you dash towards the attacks it gives you that really good shadow step and it's much easier to do so i always like to dash towards attacks Oop, like this dash see i'm out of it run this part's annoying because there's no real opportunity for you to deal damage to him other than like one or two hits so normally it's not worth the effort there we go Cerebus done obviously that wasn't a super clean run but Serbi is so easy you have a lot of opportunities to have a bit of mistakes and you'll still be able to clear it alright come on give me an attack helmet oh far out crit hit that crit damage oh man Come on. Oh, this one's all right. Damage increase. All right. Attack. 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 Well, this will be a really good one for Saar, but I want a full greed set for Saar, so I'll save it for now. All right. That is Cerebus done. All right. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video where we ta tackle floor 25. All right. See you then.